When Lindsay Flynn and Andrea Mize signed up to donate blood, they noticed something a little different on the Big Red bus. Um, yeah, I really liked the team. When I walked in, I saw the streamers and stuff, and I really liked it, and then I saw it was Harry Potter. Like the famous trio from the novel, these best friends do everything together, including donating blood. It takes like half hour of your time to save people's lives. During the Harry Potter movie opening, two Big Red buses have attracted a lot of attention from moviegoers in front of the Waterford Lake Cinema. It may bring out some donors that we may have not That's seen if we hadn't been here. Donors like Chris Walker. He just saw the latest installment of Harry Potter, but don't ask him how it turns out. I don't want to spoil the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Though he is a frequent donor, he is a huge Harry Potter fan and appreciates the decor complete with little round glasses. I do also have a magical wand that makes noise. And I think there's a broom around here somewhere too. We're going to turn her into a frog. Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> now the cameraman has to kiss her to turn her back into a princess. <laughs> Everybody who donates blood during this special Harry Potter blood drive will receive one free movie ticket. They can take that right across the parking lot and go see what could become the biggest movie of the summer. Yeah, I got a free movie ticket, so I'm really excited. Despite the decorations, you won't find pure blood, half blood, or muggle blood in these donors. Can you take muggle blood? Um, I, I don't think I would. No. Though worlds away from Hogwarts and the lands of wizards and magic, the donors on this bus do have a very special power, the power to save someone's life. Nancy Gay for Florida's Blood Centers, where local heroes are saving lives.